In Lesson 92, we will be creating Table 9248 and applying a pre-designed style to that table. However, the most important thing that you will be learning in this lesson and probably in the entire unit is how to use tabs within a table. There are several tricks to it and it is especially important that you finish exercise 92D in the word processing manual on how to use tabs within a table. After you have finished that lesson, you may get started on table 9248. Now, while your textbook implies that you can add a table style of your choice, the software informs you over here on the left that for accurate format scoring you need to apply the medium shading 1 accent 1 table style. So I will change the checklist to reflect that and then we will get started. Click Start Work and we're going to start with a 9 row 5 column table. We will be merging the cells in row 1 and note that everything you see in the dark blue with white lettering on page 377, everything there fits in this one row. Notice the font sizes and the spacing that's going to be required. In this first row, if we need a blank line before billing statement, we're going to need to apply that trick we learned last time because if we press enter, we're kicked out of the table. So press shift enter, then enter, go back and remove the soft return. Now come back to the line below the blank line, press center, bold, you can turn on caps lock, and increase the font size to 18 point. This is not standard table formatting. You're creating a custom form here, so you're following the instructions on the page. Type billing statement, press enter, and one more time for a blank line. Now our font size needs to be 14 points, so let's decrease that take off caps lock and type the name you see there, press enter. Now we're going down to 12 point. Press enter two times as noted type telephone colon space 541-555-3434 and in order to use the tab in the table you hold down control while pressing tab. Just one time then type email colon billing at bayfield.org and press enter one time. We are asked to remove the hyperlink in this form, so let's see if Control Z works at this point. It does. So now move to the next row and merge the cells. Press enter one time because we want a blank line before we type patient. After patient, then use the control tab stroke to type Karen S. Fairchild. Press enter one time, press control tab and type 701 Maple Street, press enter, type city, state, and zip colon and press control tab and press enter. Now we are going to go back and change 
the lines that begin with Karen and 701 to line up over Eugene, Oregon. Select Karen S. Fairchild. Be sure that the tab over here is set as a left tab and then click the ruler and drag that tab over so that the line lines up with Eugene, Oregon. And we're going to do the same with 701 Maple Street. And now that row looks good. So we're going to move to the next row and type our column headings. They should be bold and centered. I'm going to show you some things that I've learned the hard way about the correct formatting of this table. The most important one is when to apply AutoFit, but I've discovered another one. It apparently is not helpful to apply bold beforehand, so we're going to wait to correct all that is bold after we've applied our table style. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it here and we will just double check that after we have applied our table style. But the next thing is, and noticed over here in the checklist, is that we need to apply AutoFit after we have typed rows 1, 2, and 3. That includes this row, this one, and the column headings. So at this point, right click, select AutoFit to Contents. Now we're going to go back and enter the information in the rest of the table. Now before we go on with the last row, we need to select all cells, the financial amount centered, and right align those. So move up to the home ribbon in the paragraph group and click align text right. Then move to the last row, merge the cells, type total do and here we need to set our right our right tab in the table. More than likely your tab at the current time will be a left tab. So click through through the center tab until you get to the right tab. This is the right tab. Then move into your table and it's difficult to put it right where it belongs to click because there are other markers in the way. So just click over here a little bit to the left on the ruler and then drag it over to the right margin. Then back in the table, press Control Tab. Then you can type dollar sign $410.00 and our table information is entered. The next step is going to be to apply our table style. We will choose the medium shading one accent one suggestion. So move to the Table Tools Design tab, open the gallery, and there's a pretty good hint that this is going to be blue, that that is accent one. So move over through the light options. They go from light, medium to dark, and here we have medium shading one and accent one. Okay, having removed the bold, our table style is not as far off as it was when I tried it the first time but we do not need the patient information in bold so let's remove that select our column heading row and we're going to need to make that in consistently bold all the way across and we're going to remove the bolding for the dates that is not necessary the style is a little bit different but this is what GDP suggested we use. Now we're going to center the table horizontally and vertically on the page. Use the move handle to select the entire table. Press center, that's horizontal. Now we will move to the page layout ribbon. Click the dialog box launcher so that we get the page setup dialog box. Move to the layout tab and under page vertical alignment choose Center and OK. Now if you go through the checklist and see that you have completed everything, 
then you're ready to submit it to GDP for scoring for keystroking errors. Correct all of those to zero and you will be ready to move on. Remember this tip about using a tab in a table. It requires adding the control key when you press tab. After scoring in GDP, I have learned that the dates do need to be entered with just two digits, 13 this year, and then GDP scores those correctly. I also have had an error, which I didn't notice, where Bayfield Hospital was entered twice up here in row one.